Welcome to another 3D Printers Online tutorial. Today, we'll be updating the firmware on the Frozen Transform. We want to download the firmware from this link. Now, you'll get this file once you download, and it should download into your downloads folder. From here, you want to move the file into an empty folder. For me, that was pictures. We can then right click on the file, and we're going to extract this file to get the correct file format. Now, you may not be able to do this, and you'll need to download a program called WinRAR. We can then come back to the file, right click, and extract the file here. This can take some time, so we'll speed it up. Now that the file is extracted, we can open libraries, go back to pictures where the original file was, and you'll see we've now got a disk icon. This is the new firmware file that we want. Now we can remove the micro SD card from the back of the 3D printer. Simply pushes out and then you can pull it out. Now we'll need a micro SD card adapter to fit the laptop. Once we insert the SD card, we'll be prompted to format the disk. We want to click Format Disk. We can then click Start and the disk will begin to format. We can then click OK. This process is quite quick as you can see and now the SD card is formatted and empty. Now, in order to actually transfer the file onto this, we'll need another program, which is called Window32 Disk Imager. This is a free download from the link provided. Once you have this program, we'll need to open it. Now we need to select the file that we downloaded and extracted. We'll go back to the file, which was pictures, select the file and click open. Now it should automatically select your device as the SD card. We can then click write. The new firmware file will begin to write to the SD card. Let's speed this up as it can take a few minutes. We can now see that the write was successful and the new firmware is now located on the SD card. We can click exit and we can check that it's written because when we try to click on the SD card it will prompt us to format again, which means that the firmware is on the SD card. We then want to click cancel and OK. We then want to safely eject the SD card. We can do this by right clicking and then clicking eject. This is confirmed by the prompt in the bottom corner. Then we can take our micro SD card, plug it back in, and the Transforms firmware has been updated. 